this one. Yeah. Another one, another one, another one, another one. Yeah. DJ Kelly! Shining, 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 yeah. Shining, yeah. All of this winning, I've been losing my mind. What is up, everybody? Hope all is well with you. <clears throat> I was actually supposed to be taking a break right now. Um, I just wanted, I want to say something because I've been on a two hour phone call and not depressed, none of that. I'm, I'm just more or less, what's up? Agitated. Okay. So all of these pastors in Kansas city, a whole bunch of them in Kansas city. I have almost a two hour conversation recorded in my phone. All of these names, all of this, I mean, baby, when I say hot tea, I'm talking about hot tea. Um, three videos of a pastor beating his wife. Hello. Three videos of a pastor beating his wife at home. Knowingly that he has surveillance in his house. Three videos. This man has beat his wife. This man has kicked his wife. Four days after she's out, out of the hospital. Grabbed her by her neck. Slung her to the floor. Grabbed her by her neck. And took her from room to room. Kicked her. Okay, put these hands on her, put these, these good thunder cookies on her, and yet and still, nobody's going to say nothing. No, he didn't record it himself. There's surveillance in the house, and the family sent it to me. I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't care what y'all say, and I don't care what you do. Wrong is wrong. I know the Bible say that man could have all these wives and concubines. But let me tell you something. I don't care. You need to learn how to respect one another. And that's real. No, he ain't going to jail because his bishop kept getting him off. Which I'm trying to figure out how well connected are these. Well, you know what? I take that back. Because his bishop is out here defending and standing up for Donald Trump. I got, I got, I got a, I got a, a, a video right here. His name is Bishop John Brennan. Mm -hmm. Right, right here. You see that right there? Right there. Right there. Baby, he's out here standing up, talking for Donald Trump and everything like that. Got this man off the first time he beat his wife. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And um, I got so much, so much boiling tea that's on this. And I really have been trying to leave this alone. But every time I try to leave it alone, something else falls in my lap. Let me tell y'all something. You can believe what you want to believe. But how many more of these women have got, are going to be killed at the sake of these, these lying bastards? Okay? Now, you want to preach and you want to do all this other stuff, but you want to live double lives. You want to do all this other stuff like that? Y'all talking about, oh, you trying to justify all the sexuality. You're about trying to justify nothing. How many more of these first ladies, these women, have got to die before somebody say, hey, hey, my daughter's not going to die at the hands of some foolishness. I'm just saying, you got, you got preachers out here who make their wives sleep with their boyfriends. Hello? This, this makes sense to me. This makes sense to me. Oh, I think that Dwight's story is true. I do. It makes sense to me. How, how many more of these women have got to be subjected, subjected, that's the word I want to use right there, subjected to this Ringling, Barnum, and Bailey foolishness? Earl Carter trying to call me now. Really? Earl Carter trying to call me. I don't think so. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. No, you don't get too many chances to sit up here and disrespect me 
and call me punks and sissies and faggots and carrying on. And you out here, dish, I don't give a damn what the Bible say. And yes, I said that. I don't care. You don't get too many times to disrespect me. I don't think so. Especially when you knew what the hell was going on. Anyways, how many times, how, how, many, how many more of these young ladies have got to die for the sake of this mess? I, I just, I just want to know. Do your do your child gotta die at the hands of one of these fools? Is is that what's gonna happen? Now y'all blaming the gays and homosexuals, but you need to be looking at your pastor, cause that's the one that's leading over you. You hear me? What I'm trying to tell you, you need to be trying to look at your pastor, cause your pastor got a girlfriend and a boyfriend. Honey, I'm, 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 I was sitting here just taking notes. I was just like, and I couldn't take notes no more. I couldn't take notes no more. So I recorded a conversation because I was like, I can't write all this shit down. It's a fucking fool. I'm sorry. My grandma probably going to be watching this, but it's a fucking fool. It's a fucking fool. Excuse me, church people, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. It's a fucking fool. And it's more than that Tanika situation because baby, it, baby, when I tell you, when I tell you, when I tell you, baby, it's a circle. It's a circle. Baby, it's a circle of pastors in Kansas City doing the same thing over and over again. Meanwhile, their wives have to sit there and look pretty, smile, pose for the camera, and always wear a smile, always wear heels, always look dainty. Fuck that shit, please. Please, please, seriously. Meanwhile, they go home and their husbands beat the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. And they got to go come back around, put makeup on to cover up the, the black eyes and stuff like that. Th these are church people. These are church people. These are church people. Yeah. These are church people. Th these are pastors. Now, I'm not blaming all the men because all the men ain't like that. Okay, let me just say that. Put that on out there because I know Mario, now all men ain't like that. Yeah, you're right. All men are not like that. Let me just say that. But for the ones that are, this is foolishness. Baby, I, I, uh, I hour and 38 minutes of conversation. Of, of just and you gotta sit there and take you so my question is why y'all women are out here beating me up talking about homosexual trying to cover up I'm out here trying to say something for you oh yeah Jill something recently happened Baby, has something recently happened? Mm-hmm. I want to know, what are y'all really saying about your pastors that's out here? Um, I, you know what, Angela? <laughs> I was supposed to be somewhere laying down, but I can't. I just want to know what, what Kansas City going to say about the pastors out here beating, beating and strangling your wives after they didn't got out of surgery. I just, I want to know what, what are y'all going to say about that? Because what I'm about to do is put this good video together and I'm going to do what I do best and go and present all these receipts. Because not one time in and one, and one of my videos have I lied, have I told a fib or anything like that. My question is to and one of y'all first ladies who dealing with this bull crap right here. <laughs> which one of y'all is going to be next? Which ones of y'all is going to sit up here and bite the bullet? Wh which one of y'all? Which one of y'all first ladies are we going to bury next in your beautiful hats, your beautiful St. John's? Meanwhile, the, the bishops 
And the congregants at the church is going to cover this mess up. Which one of y'all going to be next? Which one of y'all going to... You little girls, you little, you little ladies, you little ladies, you little ladies. I'm talking to y'all. Y'all are so pressed about becoming a first lady. You don't even know the half. You don't even know the half. I, I've seen it firsthand. I saw my first lady deal with a whole bunch of bull crap firsthand. I saw my first lady get embarrassed like hell firsthand by her husband on her birthday. Ain't nobody going to say nothing about that. But the family going to say, you just be there, be the wife, love your husband, just keep praying. No, I'm going to tell you, just like Sophia said, baby, you better bash Mr. Head in and think about heaven later. Baby, because that's your life. You hear me? I'm just trying to tell you. Who we going to bury next? Who we going to bury next? I will gladly. LaShawn, you in Kansas? You in Kansas? Oh, how did we got tea? I just, this, I just hope she don't go back to the man. I just, I just hope to God. I hope to God she does not go back to this man because she going to end up dead. Mm-hmm. She going to end up dead. I saw three videos. Three. And if y'all can't talk about Charlene's son getting beat the hell out of in the streets in Kansas City. Surely. 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 You can talk about this first lady. I'm going to post a video. I'm going to post a video. Just so y'all can, you know, at least get a little snit bit. Okay, a little snit bit. How is this okay? And he keeps getting off because his bishop, Bishop John Brennan, mm -hmm, keep going in and getting him off just because he's connected with Donald Trump. So you mean to tell me this the bullshittery that we gonna have to deal with in the church? You know what? You know what? Here we go. Maybe I need to be a, a Trump supporter too. Maybe I can do some fucked up bullshit too and just get on off. Okay? Maybe, maybe. maybe. You know what? I'm gonna make a video and that's gonna that's what it's gonna be. I support Donald Trump. Yep. Cause seemingly you can do some bullshit in the church. And get away with it. Okay? We can, we can do some bullshit in church. And we get away with it. Okay? I, I just... I, I'm going I'm to I'm, I'm, I'm be, be a Trump supporter. We saw what happened to Andrew Gilliam. He lost. Because they cheated. Okay? They cheated. So again, I saw Steven. Steven, you got something to say? Oh, no, no, James. I can't give you the whole story right now. Cause um, yeah, I'm I'm you know, as they as the prosecutor say, I'm just trying to build my case. Well, babe, I don't have to build my case because babe, like I said, after two hours of conversation, I got all the receipts I need. I got receipts, payroll. Um, invoices. Uh, I got my Lipton, Lip, Lipton tea out and all of those things. I'm, I'm full right now. Like I even had some Chick-fil-A. I'm full. Like I can't do no more. If you got some tea that need to be spilled and it's legitimate, you just send that to my inbox and we'll discuss that in a minute. Right now, right now, what we're dealing with is this. And that's, and, and that is the, again, one of these pastors. One of these pastors in Kansas City, and it ain't just one. It's the bishop. What is up here? Hey, it's the bishop. It's one, two, three, four, five, five pastors that's all connected together. You said what church? Oh, I can't do this right now. 
I don't know if y'all know a Ryan. What was it? Uh, Angela, was it um, Ryan Fontnot? Fontnot or something like that? What was it? Living Word? What the hell it was? I don't know. Yeah, the yeah, Alishan. Yep, him. Font not. That's him. Font note, not whatever. Matter of fact, I'm I'm I'ma hope you. I'ma post it in this video. So because I, I gotta I gotta get I I gotta I gotta rest my nerves after all this. You said just I'm trying to spill it. Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm, I, I want to hope the saints. These are y'all pastors. Mm -hmm. these, these is your pastors. Hold on. Wait a minute. I, I'm going to hope y'all real quick. You know, I was just, I was trying to take my time with all of this. Where's the one where he beat the hell out of her? I mean, he just stomped the dog mess out of her. Here we go. Try to see this. Hold on. Wait a minute. I got, I got to show it to you one more game. Wait a minute. I want to... Oh, that's... Is that it? Yep. He took her to the other room. He took her to the other room. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me, let me do it one more time. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. Roll that back. Now you see him carrying her by her neck in the other room. So I, I just I just want to know how do you first ladies neglect another first lady when you know that she dealing with some stuff? How don't why don't you become your sister's keeper and say something? Why don't you sit up here and pull your big hats off? And go say something or go beat this man's ass for her. She was she just got out of the hospital four days before this ass whooping. Just four days out the hospital. I can't even I <laughs> I, again, it's it's piping hot. It's piping hot, baby. It's baby. I'm talking about you know y'all want to talk about infidelity, you side pieces, boyfriends. All the list goes on. You said let's just pray, let's whoop ass. How about that? Okay, this this past praying, praise the Lord. This this is past. This is past. Oh, I'm going to take a nap. I am. This is past praying. No, that that what you know what the church people said they know that the past of them is going through all of this and and they're gonna let the bishop handle that. He said you need to have any other questions, you contact Bishop Brennan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So again, like I said, y'all wanna pray. Yeah, that was at their home. And he knew that his house had surveillance cameras in the house. He knew. This man, this man knew that his house had surveillance cameras in it. And he still chose to beat his wife like that. This was taken from the surveillance camera. Y'all okay for that? Y'all y'all okay with that? Y'all church, y'all other church ladies that's in Kansas City, y'all okay? Y'all good church mothers? Or maybe 
Let's just go a little further. Maybe it's the fact that y'all getting y'all ass whooped at home too. So maybe this just a part of the whole process of being a first lady. Why y'all little young men want to be first gentlemen? Y'all want your ass whooped too? I, hello? This, this what you really want? James, you got to go back and hit that replay. Is, is this... Is this what is this what what goes on in, in the lives of the first ladies that that you got to take whatever your husband dish out or you first gentleman you got to take whatever your husband dish out meanwhile he's a whole hoe out here and he stands up in the pulpit and want to talk about calling folks sins sins hello I'm just saying, who is this what we doing in Kansas City? I mean, but it's not just Kansas City, though. Is it really? It's not. It's not. It's not Kansas City. It's not Kansas City. It's 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 everywhere. Y'all can harp on gays and faggots, but you go right home and get your butt whooped. Hmm. Like I was almost moved to tears, but these are the very same women that be at convocation telling bitch, you better preach against them faggots. And them very same faggots are right there trying to do stuff for you. Meanwhile, the man who's up there preaching to you is whooping your ass at home. The very same man that's up there preaching against faggots is bringing a faggot home to you. So you and him can sleep with him together. Because you got to be a good wife and learn how to keep your husband, learn how to keep your man. Mm. You got to be a good wife, good submissive wife, learn how to keep your husband. Well, he going to go out there and tip out. Yes, God. That's what all the church mamas say. Girl, you got to know how to keep your man. If that's what I got to do to keep him, you can have him. Have him. Yep, have him. Yeah, they want to be up there preaching against the faggots and the sissies. And they go right to them hotel rooms. Him, the wife, and the faggots. And they're going to have them a good rendezvous. And the wife has to sit there and say amen. Mm -hmm. You got to sit your ass and say amen. Or you're going to get your ass beat. Like, like, like First Lady Fontenot. Mm-hmm. Got the hell choked up out of her. Four days out, she got out the hospital. And right, and you better not say nothing. You better not say nothing. Hmm. Yep. So, um, I know y'all don't like the fact that, you know, I talk about this stuff and report. But this is, this is what's going on. So again, you ladies, you ladies, seemingly you don't like gay people. You don't like gay people. But your husband constantly bringing them home to you. So you can have, so you can make sure your husband is happy. And you bet not say nothing. Because you got to maintain your household. And maintain your dignity like hell you will. Is is this what the church do now? Oh, or has it always been going on? Has it always been going on? Let, let me let, let me let me just help y'all one more game. Let me help y'all one one one's more game. I'm a, I'm gonna show y'all this video, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna help y'all one more game. This man uh, knocked the hell out of his wife. And choked her and brought her in the other room. Hold on, let me show y'all something. That's him beating his wife. Right, hold on. I'm gonna show y'all one more. See, so just knocked her down.
pushed the kids out the way. He's over there stomping her in the ground, beating her with his fists. Hey, March. Tell my mom I say hey. He beat her in front of the kids. You did see the children. You did see the children. You saw the kids sitting right there. He picked them kids up, pushed them out the way. And in another video, he choked the hell out of her. The kids saw their daddy beat the hell out of their mama. And nine times out of ten, this ain't the first time. This ain't the first time. Oh, baby, he just preached down Sunday. And they had a full-on praise break. Bum, 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 bum. Baby, listen here. Full-on praise break. I was watching it. Had a full praise break. Baby, they would skip to the do live, my darling, and everything. This ain't his first time beating his wife. This ain't his first time. This ain't his first time. This ain't his first time. So, um, to all you first ladies, to all you first ladies who, who take beatings like this because that's your husband, um, and for all y'all church mothers that, that, that seemingly tell these girls to stay right there and pray, uh, 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 uh I'm going to tell you like this, you, you too, mother, supervisor, state mother, whoever you are, you need your ass beat too, mm -hmm. because you don't tell somebody to stay in something like this. Now I know what the Bible say about divorce. I know what the Bible say. But see, let me tell you something. Uh, the Bible also say to death do us part. Now, when it say to death do us part, then I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take heed. Yeah, God, to that one right there. One of us, mm -hmm, one ton of us is going to part. If you don't part from this bullet, you're going to part the weeds out there. You hear me what I'm trying to tell you? Hello, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hope somebody. I'm trying to hope you. I'm trying to hope you. Okay? To death do us part. Because either you going to kill him or he going to kill you. Which, which, which one you, what, what you want? What you want, what you want. Okay? Immediately. Let me see what was the name of this church. <sighs> the Rock Church. It's the Rock Church, all right. They were putting the rocks upside that woman's head. Mm -hmm. Anyways, y'all, I mean, cute pastor. Cute pastor. <laughs> and I was hoping, I was hoping this man wasn't a Herman section. I was hoping. I was like, you know. But, I mean, he fooled with the kids, too. He fooled with the kids, too. He cute. Now, he fine. I'm just, he did what he did. But it really don't matter whether he does or doesn't or whatever the case may be. You a punk-ass nigga if you out here putting your hands on your wife. Especially four days after she didn't got out of the hospital. Let's me further know this ain't your first time. That lets me know that you a bold soldier for you to sit up here and whoop her ass and you know you got surveillance cameras in your house. You hear me? Do you hear me? You ain't that fine. Babe, let me tell let me tell y'all, hello, hello, let me tell y'all men's and women something. That painted wing ain't that good when he putting them hands upside you. Hello. 
the church and got quiet. Y'all got real quiet today. It ain't that good, especially when you got to sit up and take them licks. Mm -hmm. It ain't that good when he sit up here choking the hell out of you. Baby had her by her neck and dragged her from room to room. Room to room. It ain't that good. It ain't that good. Anyways, y'all, y'all get ready for this hot tea because, baby, it's going to be boiling. Oh, because it ain't just this pastor. Oh, honey, it's a whole list of pastors. Okay? Now, y'all can sit back and y'all can do y'all shambalala. Now, y'all hooji wooji. But, uh, no, I'm going to roll this list right on out. Oh, baby, it, when I, listen here. Now, uh, I got to call you back, but let me tell you something. Let me, let me just tell you right now. It's a list of pastors. And I just think everybody need to come to the altar. That's it, basically. Just come on to the altar. Get your life right. Turn it over to Jesus. Okay, just turn it over to Jesus. All right, just <laughs> turn it over to Jesus. He know, you can tell him all about it. Tell him all about it. But, um... King, me, 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 is about to do this whole video. And, baby, I'm going to give you point by point. And I'm going to connect all these dots for you. Because, uh, how did, the connection that I just got and the dots that just been connected on this here phone conversation that I just got to recording, I said, well, damn, Pam. I said, not, baby, it goes from P.A.W., to Kojic, non-denominational, Baptist, baby, everybody, six degrees of separation. Somebody knows somebody knows somebody that's been fucking somebody. Hey, I, I, I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to move on with my life here. I'm trying to talk about fashion. But seemingly, the saints keep coming to me and saying, Mario, can you help me? And I'm like... I'm, I don't like people cussing me out because I likes to cuss the people out too. Okay? I likes to get on and make movies and go smooth off. Okay? I like to do that. I, me, I likes to do that. I'm trying to move away from that because I wants to be calm. Okay? I want to be calm. But um, y'all going to enjoy Baby, let me tell you something. When I tell y'all better be locked and loaded to that YouTube, you better subscribe to the YouTube. You and your mama and your daddy and your grandmammy. And everybody, you better be locked and loaded to the YouTube because, baby, listen here, names. I'm talking about husbands that left wives for men's, got married, left, left the men's, and went got married to another wife and, and left a wife for a whole transgender. And now you remarried to another woman again. I'm confused. What type of fandanglement foolishness is this is going on right here? And then, how did you got one preacher out here, call himself a prophet, and you got babies spread all over the city. And I guess y'all singing the caravans. And we'll go sweeping through the city. Well, my captain has gone on before. And then we're going to sit down by the banks of the river. Yeah, make sure y'all get locked and loaded, okay? Um... Peace out. Talk to you later. I worked my whole life for this one. Another one, another one, another one. DJ Kelly, DJ Kelly.